Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to display a grid of categories. That could be for your blog posts or maybe your portfolio projects or just a regular post type, maybe WooCommerce products um, or events from the events calendar, whatever it is, you can display your categories to help people find the posts that they want. So basically we'll be making a grid of items that they can click on and they'll go to the page for that category and see the posts or events or projects or products in that category. All right, let's take a look. Maybe just to start, I'll just show you really quickly some examples of what I mean. So here's some categories for this site. These are demos. Um, different types of categories, right? So here's like fitness related categories. So if I want to read blog posts in the fashion category, I'll click on this or you know what I mean? Here's photography. If I want to view the newborn photography or the wedding photography, those are categories. And what you're seeing here is just demos of well, I'm using our plugin making categories. Now I'm going to show you two methods. Um, in fact, let's just go back there now. I have everything written here in the blog post. So if you're on YouTube, just click the link to come over here. Um, but there's two methods, like I mentioned. The first one is just going to be manually setting this up, you know, using any modules that are available in Divi. Now, there are some things to consider here, though, if you're using this method. I would only use this method if I knew I only had like a few categories. If I knew, like like I kind of made an example, if I had a photography site and I knew I had four categories, newborn, you know, seniors and wedding and whatever, family, that's four. Like I know there's four so I could just set them up. And kind of the idea like nothing's really changing. Or if you really just felt that you were good at remembering like if you go to like make a blog post and you add a new category well then are you going to remember to go back to the page and update this grid right if if you feel that you can do that or if that meets you know your situation here's how i would recommend doing it i would just set up some kind of structure like this i would probably add a row maybe um in fact just add one i'll show you a trick Add an image to the row, maybe, and maybe you would want to add some text to like add the, like a description for that category. And maybe you want to add a button because you want to link to the page that's the category. So once you have like image, text, and button, you could come in here and duplicate it to make your columns. Let's say I had four columns like that, whatever. Then you would be kind of left with linking these and styling them and that's it you would want to go to the back end of your site like you would want to go like if these were blog posts go to categories whatever it is product categories whatever you would come back here and you'll see here the view button like when you hover over your categories you could actually just you could do two things you could like right click and open that in a new tab right like you could come here now and like copy this link here or you could just like right click and copy link address right either way then you would want to go back to that grid and put the link in here so like let's say this is the first one oh and by the way you might want to have like a heading in here too i should have did that for before i copied them over right you might want to do something like that but anyway you would could do it this way where you open each module link right paste the link open the second one paste the link etc right do it to the button or you could go into the actual column like this first column column link url right like that and now that whole column will link and one couple things to keep in mind here like maybe you want to have a hover effect like this column you want there to be what, I don't know, a background color maybe, like when you hover something, you know, like it turns blue when you hover over it, whatever it is, to kind of give you that feeling of like, okay, this is something that is like a button, like this entire thing is a link that's going somewhere. That way, anywhere that they click on here, 
the cursor will change like you know it'll be like that little hand symbol whatever you call that everywhere on here right instead of just the individual items like if i would technically hover between the items so adding the link to the column is probably a really good idea plus you could like add that background or maybe you want to add like a border you make the column the the taxonomy like the co the category so this is like click here go to this category page category pages you would want to set up in the theme builder every time i click this you're going to that category that simple i mean that's method one again that's like if you're only adding a few and you're not too worried about it now we also made method two we made a plugin and it's called the divi taxonomy helper and it kind of does what it says it helps it adds things related to taxonomies now a category is a taxonomy uh, a tag is a taxonomy so hopefully the, the term doesn't scare you but basically it's just a plugin that adds features it, it one of the features that we're talking about in this one is a is a module it actually adds a module it's very similar to the blog module but with one very very important difference that sometimes it gets confusing but the blog module displays a grid of posts right like each item in the grid is an individual post with this module the module inside this plugin now our plugin does other things but one of the features is this module and inside that grid each item is a category so you would actually click the category then go to the category page and on the category page you would have a blog module and then you would click the individual post okay so the category is like a way to get to, you know, categories of blogs, right? Yeah. All right. You know, install the plugin. That's kind of step one with this method. Um, if you're a member of our Divi Adventure Club membership, just go to your account, download it. Um, you can check out the product page if you're not. Get it all set up and installed. And I'm not going to walk you through all that. You, you can figure that out with our documentation. And it's pretty, pretty common standard stuff. Add the module to your layout. And like I was saying, these here are actual taxonomy modules. I'll, I'll enable the builder here and show you that. This is a two column grid. You could choose your columns. You can do a lot of things. And, and the module is going to feel very familiar, right? It's going to feel like any other Divi module. All the settings and things kind of just make sense. Uh, we have the labels and you can always click like the little help text, right? Under each. Thing. So first of all, you're choosing your post type. Here it's on posts. And then once you choose your post type, like from all the ones that are available on the site, then you can choose the taxonomy that are available for that post type, right? So in this case, categories. And there's lots of options here. So here's actual check marks where I can choose specific categories that I want to sh show here. Um, yeah, we'll get to some other things here, but you can choose the number. Um, an offset, just like in the blog, you can choose the description length, how you want to order these title by title or by post count, by random. Um, you can change the, the text here. Uh, you know how it goes. Everything's customizable. Number of columns, you might want to change that differently on desktop, tablet, and phone. Here's the space in between. Um, you can change the layout, the image, and on top or left, like to make a list view. Here's elements you can turn on and off and then all of your design settings it's it's really like it's like the blog but you know for <laughs> categories i'm not going to show you all that you can look at our documentation where we walk through every setting like that you can kind of get the feel for what's possible here with our demos that are available these demos are available to download here you can download each one there's a button for each section here and you can kind of skip around here. Here's like a cool product layout. Here's a really cool one. You know, whatever. You can do all of this kind of thing dynamically. So this image is coming from the category. This title is coming from the category. Some of these that have like descriptions. This description is set 
in the category, in the back end. The image is set in the back end. Here you can see, so like here's some of those that we were just looking at, like, like hiking boots. If I edit this category, here you can see a little thumbnail that I can change or I can write a description and all of that. And then that's what's displayed in, you know, in this module. So there's two methods that you can do, whether you're keeping it simple or you want to take it a little further and make it a little more dynamic. You can also use this module for multiple level categories, right? So if you have a parent category, then you get into like that extra level, right? So if I have products, I'm using WooCommerce and I want to display products, but you have like, uh, I can't think off the top of my head too quick here, but like, so here, let me just show you like, like here's some that are like outdoor related. So I have backpacks and chairs and sleeping bags. Let's pretend I had already clicked on like an outdoors category. So now I'm on a category page. So it's like my domain.com slash outdoors category. But then on the product, like if I'm using WooCommerce, now I want to go even deeper into um, backpacks and chairs and whatever, all these things that are in the outdoor category. So in our recent update to the module, we could support this now all dynamically. It happens all dynamically. So whichever ones are in the parent, it'll show the ones in the like below it. So then let's say you click on backpacks here. Well, now you're on a whole nother page and you could keep going deeper. Like maybe you have a, a whole bunch of categories for backpacks or maybe you have you know, different styles, like different types of hiking or leisure, whatever, or collars, whatever it is. And you could keep going. So now when I go on the back, now I'm on the backpacks category, I would see subcategories of backpacks and I could click on you know, overnight hiking category, and now I see the products, right? <laughs> or something like that. So you would not probably want to do that with method one. You would probably want, like, I mean, <laughs> I guess you could do that, or could you even do that? This is all like dynamic in the theme builder. Let me show you one more thing. So there was this option here, dynamic taxonomies in current posts. And that just means dynamic content. So if if you were building this in the theme builder template, you would always want to enable this, the dynamic content option. Okay. Um, that's because what I was just describing can work like the dynamic aspect of it can work. Otherwise you have these options where you're like hard setting them. If that makes sense, like you're literally choosing this one or this one, but with the dynamic content enabled, they're going to populate automatically. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'll quit talking. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Setting up categories can really help with your site navigation, guiding users to what they want to see, what they want to read, what they want to buy, all that kind of stuff. So we do think it's important and we try to make tools that facilitate that, like things that are needful but are not available otherwise. We try to think outside the box, you know, these solutions that no one else has. That's kind of our specialty and we enjoy it and we hope you do too. All right, we'll see you all in our next video.